Hello and welcome to the continuation of my Napoleon series. Let's get started. So, I believe I have fought Venice last time. Some noble rebels popped up, but who cares about them? It's Genoa. Does not affect me. I'm going to attack Austria and take this piece of land. Which is rightfully mine. I can get policy of intolerance since I have no... I don't think I have. I have no um, other religions in my empire. Apparently all these provinces have a low supply limit. Austria should be a fairly easy target. It's Mantua. Goriza, Basil, and they have 8,000 troops. Nineteen tech. <clears throat> so I'm three techs above them. I outnumber them by a lot. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. I'll call Milan in anyway. Who's Basil? Bamberg Disopolis. I think I'll I won't call them in. I'll just take that province. Alright, let's I don't know why I have this alliance with Muscovy. It's I'm just gonna break this. It's costing me a, s a relations. They're never gonna be called into my wars. So. Also, apparently, they changed it, and now all of your expenses for court and education and such is now in public services which gives me a negative balance of 10 ducats a year so I think I'm going to increase some funding Nothing to education. Alright. I have to wait 20 days for my diplomat. Okay, they're running away from me. No. I guess not. Alright, here we go. That was a quick fight. This is for level three.
doesn't look like they don't have forts anywhere here. here than on their capital. gets more noble rebels. They don't even want anything. They just... Basically, there's no effect at Siege 1, and they just... Genoa loses one stability, and... I don't know if it decreases? Greater noble loyalty to 16, or if it increases it to 16? Or if it just adds 16, I'm not sure, entirely sure what goes on here, but it's not even high priority because nothing really happens. What are you guys doing? They're all just forming up in the mountains over here. Which is fine. Alright. So, Goriza. Okay. I will take all of your money, all 40 ducats, war reps. You're going to end your rivalries. Give me that prestige, that juicy prestige. Mm. You're going to give me all the prestige. Yep. Alright. And then I can also piece out Mantua for that 67 ducats. And that little bit of prestige. Six prestige. Alright. Who's the other one? Basil. <laughs> 
Não. Peace out, Basil. For that 99 ducats, you're gonna end your rivalry and give me prestige. So you can't declare war on a member of the Empire if you're already at war with the Emperor. That makes sense, so I can't, you know, conquer all this guy's territory and then just wreak havoc on the rest of the Empire while he's occupied. I mean, it, it makes sense from a game standpoint, does it make sense from a realistic standpoint? Since, you know, I could do that in real life. But, that's fine. Whoa, what are you doing, Hungary? You are. I can't follow you there. I better not lose this. some of my expenses. Always keep the capital full maintenance. What did that do? Not much. Oh, you know what? It's um this guy. That guy was costing me a ton. I did that to decentralize. So that I could avoid the disaster that I had looming. And hungry again. That is a lot of text. It's a lot of text for five prestige. And a cheaper advisor. Martyr Domins. That is a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot of unrest. Mm. Um, this is not... Why would anybody side with the church if you get events like these? They make it really easy to side with the Protestants. I mean, I either gain a ton of unrest, or I gain a ton of unrest. 
Like, what is the choice here? They seem the same. Tons of unrest. Tons of unrest. Alright, the Greater Nobles lose more loyalty because they, you know, they're so mad. They're like, you know, I'm so mad at you that I'm, I don't even know. They just, these a 40% chance of losing one's stability. This is, oh, I don't even know how to not get these events. This is, I just, I got this event a couple parts ago, and it went down to 14, and then it recovered to 20, and now it's going back down. To, it's, at least I didn't lose stability. That's good. There's no rhyme or reason in those events. I mean, I understand that, because it's supposed to be random to simulate... Real life, and I did not know they were up here doing this stuff. Poor Poland. Punching bag again. this one province. And a coalition forming. It belongs to me anyway. Might as well have him revoke this. Costs me nothing. take the extra prestige. Alright, so this was good. Okay. Lorraine. Who are they allied to? Geneva and Florence. Oh, okay. Naples is not allied to uh, Spain anymore. Probably because they're worthless. They have two provinces. So... I'll do a do this CB when I can in two years. All right, I also have a CB over Troy. That. Which is just Austria and Luxembourg. And I think I... Did I end the alliances with Austria? I think I did. So Austria has no alliances. I should just immediately go right into this. I'm 
in their territory. I think. I think I'll, I'll get my guys back here and over here. Over here. And then immediately just go right into it. While they are weak and have no allies. There's the beginnings of a coalition, but it's still a while away, so I'm going to declare war immediately. I'll fight them, Luxembourg, and Austria. Austria will probably hire a bunch of people, but that's fine. I don't even know if they have any money left to hire people. Milan will not join because they're in debt, which is fine because I don't need them. And, uh, yeah, okay, I mean, this is a, it's a good province, it's not in my node, but that's fine, or should I, I mean, I, I can't fight them, I can only fight them, so yeah, just get rid of them. Alright, but then I'm going to end this part right here. Thank you for watching. Please tune in next time for the second round against Austria. Thank you.